Have you ever wondered what happens to bottles, cans, paper, and cardboard you put in the blue recycling bin? In San Francisco, recyclable materials go to Recycle Central at Pier 96 for sorting. Recycle Central is the backbone of San Francisco's recycling system. This 200,000 square foot facility processes 700 tons of materials per day. We separate mixed recyclables into different commodities based upon our ability to market them. At times, we can have up to 18 different material types. We ship finished bales of recyclables to manufacturing facilities where they are made into new products. Every day, approximately 185 neighborhood collection trucks empty recyclables collected in San Francisco onto the tipping floor at Recycle Central. A front loader scoops these materials into the drum feeder, a machine that evenly feeds materials onto a conveyor belt. The pre-sort conveyor is where the sorting begins. On this 14-station sorting line, workers pull off large, rigid plastic, bagged soft plastic, and trash, leaving remaining recyclables to undergo automated sorting. Workers also pull off loose plastic bags, wire hangers, and cords, which should not be put in the recycling bin because they can jam the machinery. Don't practice wishful recycling. Only put items in the blue bin if you are certain they can be recycled. When in doubt, find out. Look at the lid stickers on your collection bins or check the Recology website for answers. Next, a series of machines use gravity and rotating discs called screens to separate materials of differing sizes and dimensions. The first machine separates pieces of clean cardboard and is important because of increases in cardboard recycling resulting from online shopping boxes. Be sure to break down large boxes to maximize space in your blue bin and keep the boxes from jamming machinery. Once the cardboard is removed, heavier materials such as metal cans, glass bottles, aluminum and plastic containers fall through spinning discs onto conveyor belts below. We'll catch up with them later. Paper and lighter plastic objects rise up to the paper screens. There are two sets of screens. The first set removes newspaper and the second set removes mixed paper, while also separating containers that fall down to another line. Paper then passes through one of three state-of-the-art optical sorters, which use light sensors to further sort paper from any plastics, such as plastic bags, that made it through the paper screens. Finally, the paper passes by workers who do one last check to pull off and redirect any remaining plastic bags and trash. Once these contaminants are removed, the paper travels to a high-density baler. Now, back to the glass, metal, aluminum, and plastic containers we mentioned earlier. Smaller materials are shaken so that glass fragments and other small items, like bottle caps and shredded paper, are captured and redirected. Compressed air is used to separate lighter items such as paper scraps from the small glass pieces, which are then sent to the glass pile. On another line, empty food and beverage containers pass by a magnet, which pulls out steel cans, and then an eddy current separator that repels aluminum cans off the line. Then the stream moves through optical sorters, which use light sensors to identify and further sort recyclables. Recycle Central is home to seven optical sorters. Three sort out paper, three separate different types of plastic and aseptic containers such as juice boxes, and one is a final pass that redirects items back into the system for further sorting if necessary. Workers oversee the material coming out of each of the screens and optical sorters, removing any remaining contaminants and further sorting plastics. Everything except for bottle glass is made into bales. Bales are three by four by five feet and weigh about 1,300 pounds. Bottle glass is sent to a local vendor and is used to make new glass bottles. Steel and aluminum bales are sent to foundries and are used to make new cans or other metal products. Plastics are sent to domestic and foreign recycling facilities, and paper is loaded into shipping containers and sent to both domestic and foreign markets to be made into new paper products. Recycle Central at Pier 96 increases San Francisco's recycling rate and plays a vital role in efforts to reduce landfill-bound materials by 50% by 2030 a goal set by the city of San Francisco. Recycle Central is one of the largest and most technically advanced recycling facilities in the United States and provides jobs for more than 175 people. Workers at Recycle Central are Recology employee owners, 
and live in the local community. Recycling creates 10 times more jobs than landfilling or incineration. So the next time you fill up your blue recycling cart, remember that you are helping to keep materials out of landfills, protecting and preserving the Earth's natural resources, and creating jobs. We hope you enjoyed learning about Recycle Central. Thank you.